Welcome back to another Ryan Sports Reviews. I'm Ryan, and I'm here to review Sporting Kansas City 1, Minnesota United 2, a personified car wreck of a match. I mean, look at that. Just look at it. It was a car wreck. And we haven't had one of those matches, but now that we have, MLS is definitely back. And yes, I promised y'all a video today. Toronto got postponed to tomorrow morning, so you'll get that video in the morning. But right now, you're getting a Kansas City video. Ironically, a team that I like and have a soft spot for, and you could meme me as sporting fan Ryan. So... This will be a little bit of a tough love video. Just you wait. Just you wait. Don't worry. Just you wait. It's going to get there. So, we'll start with the plays, and then I'll give you a little bit of tough love in this video because that end of the game was disgraceful. Disgraceful. From dominating for the first 60 minutes and then just turtling. Worse than any other Mourinho side or any Park the Bus I've ever seen in my life. And I thought Kansas City was a contender in this tournament. I predicted Kansas City versus Toronto in the final. Now, I did say Toronto would win 3-1, and that could still happen. But, um, newsflash, that ain't it. That ain't it. That isn't it. If you want to be a contender, that's not it. Now let's talk about the plays. So, in the 43rd minute, Kyrie Shelton, an amazing solo run, runs into the box. Tyler Miller comes off his line, makes it easy for Kyrie Shelton to pick out the near post, right past him, inside it, because Tyler Miller came way off his line. So, that was horrible for him. A horrible defensive mistake. Don't know what he was doing there. But Kyrie Shelton makes him pay. 1-0 Kansas City. And that's how it would go into the half. Then, in the second half, Kansas City starts out well. But then they start falling back. They start getting tired. Vermees isn't making really any subs. 63rd minute. Corner for Minnesota. It goes in. It has scored a goal. Molino scores a goal, but it is looked at on VAR, called offside, it is called back. Then 10 minutes later, in the 74th minute, Tim Melia, inexplicably, after Beesler gets caught out, after Zussi gets caught out, and Poonchek gets caught out, all three of them get caught out, he runs out of the box and just takes out the Minnesota attacker. What was that? The second time you've ever been sent off. And honestly, you were the one that caused your team to lose. Because after the wheels fell off of the bus, technically you set that off. That was dog so, obviously. That was dog so. Denial of obvious goal scoring opportunity. That was obvious to anybody who was watching. And I saw a lot of Kansas City fans, which this kind of hurts, saying in the Twitter replies, it's not a red. What were you watching? What were you watching? Because I wasn't watching the same thing. Because that was a red. That was a red. No question. If Quentin Westberg did that, I would call it a red because it was a red. Simple as. That's dirty. That's not like some ticky BS they call like, oh, it's a penalty. Yeah, the keeper went for the ball, but he still took out Joseph. It's a pen. That's happened to Toronto before. I've seen it with my own eyes. That, what happened there, was not ticky like that. That was a nobody getting taken out by the legs. Melia didn't even go for the ball. Poonchek was caught out. Beesler was caught out. Zussi was caught out. So it set it up. And deservedly, a pen. At least it was a free, or a red card. But it was a free kick. Deservedly, a red card for Melia. He's on his bike. He's off. Deserved because that's a red. Who doesn't think that? Come on, you could do better. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You could do better. You can do better. 
Don't, don't be one of those fans who's like, oh, it's not a red. Oh, no, it's not a red. No. Don't be one of those people. Just don't. Just don't. Now, in stoppage time, the bus, the wheels have fell off long before this. 90 plus 3, free kick, Gregus delivers it. Kyrie Shelton knocks it in his own net. 1-1. Then, in the 90 plus 8th minute, Kevin Molino has the ball, shoots it near post, gets it past Sanchez. And that is 1-2. Minnesota wins this match. And sadly enough, you could say it was deserved. They did what they needed to do. Adrian Heath put the pedal to the metal once Kansas City went down to 10 men and Sanchez came in as their goalie. He put the knife to their neck. And even before the red card, the game was switching. The game was turning. Vermees needed to make, make some subs because why the hell he only made one before the Sanchez and Melia red card Sanchez debut. Why he made one, I'll never know. And then there were like four subs in the last five minutes. Or we'll know three because they used two. But make a sub. The team was getting tired and you could see it. You could see it. The team was getting tired. Anybody with a functioning brain, I guess it's the humidity, I guess, anybody with a functioning brain would have made subs way earlier. Way earlier. And that maybe would have saved Melia's hind end. Because if they would have made the subs, because the midfield got sliced up on that dog so play, when Poonchek was caught out, when Zussi was caught out, when Beesler was caught out, what happened? The midfield got sliced apart like spam. Cold spam. That's what happened. So you're telling me a sub wouldn't have helped? Uh, yeah, it would have. It would have. Where were the subs before the 85th minute? Where were they? This is a Greg Vanny thing, not a Peter Vermees thing. What the hell? What the actual hell? What the actual hell? I watch a lot of sport in Kansas City. I have a lot of friends that are Kansas City fans. I've been to Kansas City to see Toronto play Kansas City. That was where I went to my first live match was Children's Mercy Park. I respect y'all. I'm giving you some tough love. What the hell, Vermees? And when stuff goes south for TFC, you normally become my team whenever stuff goes south. Like the 2018 playoffs and the 2019 Champions League. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about. What was that? And then, and then, what a waste of a great 60 minutes. Because Pulido was amazing. Top class, another level. Pulido is wonderful. And I liked him when he was at Chivas. I knew he was wonderful. That was a waste. Kyrie Shelton, that heads up play, a waste. And then he ruins it. And then he goes and ruins it. What? What is going on? And then, to make matters worse, the backup goalkeeper gets owned as soon as he has to face three shots. Tell me exactly what the hell was the plan. Because I couldn't figure it out. After the 60th minute, that was like, oh, we're just going to park the bus. The heat and humidity is too horrible. And if he says that in his press conference, I'm going to blow a fuse. What was that? I'm going to blow a fuse because what was that? What in the hell was that? Bullshit. It was BS. I couldn't. Y'all. Man, I've had a bad day today, so of course I'm going to take it out on something. That's you. I've had a bad day. And for obvious reasons. But, come on. You could do better than that. You could have done better than that. 60 minutes of a great match. Wasted. What the hell? What the hell? Come on. I know Kansas City is better than that. I know they're better. Come on. Come on, I know you're better than that. What the hell? 
And by the way, Shallowy should have started. I get Johnny Russell wasn't fit. He's kind of like Josie Altador in TFC terms. I get it. He wasn't fit. He looked okay for when he was on. Even when they were down one man, they were down, te down to 10. Yeah, he was good. Why did Shallowy only play two minutes? Yeah, I have an irrational... Yeah, I have an irrational agenda for Daniel Shallowy. Pro agenda for Daniel Shallowy. Um... Gaddy Kinda, you take him off, the defensive midfielder, you take him off for the goalkeeper, to put in the new goalkeeper. Isn't Gaddy Kinda one of Vermees' favorite signings ever? Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? I, I don't get it. What was the plan? What was the plan? Because I couldn't tell after 60 minutes. What was the plan? That was a car crash. Like, I could have heard Mankind's theme playing in the back of my skull with how much of a car crash that was. Come on. No man of the match. Oh, okay, no. Alan Polito. Alan Polito's man of the match. But you deserved to get owned like that in the last 15 minutes, Kansas City. No plan. Wheels fall off the bus. You honestly got what you deserved. I hate to say it, but it's true. What was that? That's my question. What was that end of the game performance? Everything past 60 minutes. Yeah, sure. What was that? But the last 15 minutes after Emilio was sent off? Uh, what was that? What was that? I've never seen something so bad out of Kansas City or anybody who's worth their salt in this league. What happened? What happened? Because I don't even know. I don't even know where to start. That is what it is. If you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell all your friends. Toronto better play tomorrow morning. I think they will. But don't let us down this time. I'm Ron and I'm out. Peace.